And this guy is amazing. I mean, the focus they have, the preparation they have, it's amazing. He prepares himself like, like no other, and the way he goes about it is amazing. Um, I'm just happy to be back there and join the game with him. We're winners. I mean, we got the guys that can win the game in different ways, um, and we never give up. Um, when you got those combined, I mean, it's amazing. Focus. Focus. <laughs> Focus. Yes. That's what Yadi said there, just so you know. He didn't borrow any language from my <laughs> children. <laughs> took me a second. We didn't like, have oh, to whoo. beep that one. We had to bleep that one. <clears throat> Focus. I'm still blushing about the Mike Schilt stuff. <laughs> so apparently, <laughs> really Rosa Arena, is he a pitcher, an outfielder? I don't know who he is. Uh, he live Instagrammed the boss's post game speech and didn't realize his rookie mistake apparently till afterwards. He's an outfielder. Yeah. Then he apologized mm-hmm. for Young it. Guy. And it was, it was t- history by then. It's one of those things that goes out there and you can't get it back. Remember those things like like they they once they get broadcast you can't get them back. Like remember this television newscast from KTVU in San Francisco after the Korean airliner crashed at the oh. end of the runway. Remember this one? We have new information now also on the plane crash. KTVU has just learned the names of the four pilots who were on board the flight. They are Captain Sum Ting Wong, We Too Low. Yeah. Ho Lee Fook and Bang Ding Ao. The NTSB has confirmed these are the names of the pilots on board Flight 214 oh, when really it crashed. It. We are working to determine exactly what roles each of them played during the landing on Saturday. Yeah. What? So, uh, so, so the rookie, so, the, so the rookie person on the assignment desk who took the prank phone call, who who rushed it to air into the teleprompter got fired mm-hmm. the anchor who was too dense not to realize she was being scammed uh didn't she Did got suspended she, look at she got suspended for a week and then she was able to continue on with her job the reason i bring this up is that ktvu stepped in it again yesterday oh, really? and this the media station. the media is now on their hide they're out to get them right so yesterday after the baseball game KTVU ran a story on the outcome of the NLDS game with the banner. The the banner is the thing you see across Mm -hmm. the lower third of the screen. And it said, Braves scalped. And And the media is all over them for choosing to use that phraseology. Uh, to me, it's 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 who's running things it, over there. Well, it's you know, it's many years forge, apart, and I'm sure nobody words. involved in the first incident was involved in the second one. It's the same TV station. Again, <laughs> again, oh, again. Though, are, do we get too wrapped up in things with political correctness? I mean, seriously, somebody somebody's deeply offended by this. But as I pointed out uh, earlier. I'll guarantee you a lot of Braves fans got scalped outside of that stadium yesterday in Atlanta. Different type of scalping. No, but it's not. Scalping, the reference to scalping is you take a little bit off the top, right? That That's what scalping, that's, that's where the ticket term came from, is that somebody's sticking it to you. They're taking a piece of your hide. But that's because not what you, they were referring to in the banner. No, and it doesn't make Still. sense as a as a card to beat the Braves. But it wasn't Indy, it wasn't Braves generally who got scalped. It was Braves who did the scalping. Again, I still think it's it's overly sensitive. It's just for unnecessary. The, for the amount though. of state, like, like, that's what I said. Just, Sports Illustrated made a big deal about it. Go there. Why go there? It's, it's just, just not necessary. It's to me. It's very like chink in the armor. You remember that incident? Yeah. Like. No, we shouldn't wash that phrase from society. Was it a very poor choice of words given the situation it was describing? Yes. Like, what, what use, if, use some common sense when you're doing these yeah. headlines. What if they had said Braves savaged I still by think Cardinals? I, Too I, much? I still, yeah. It's probably inappropriate as well. It's I somebody just, thinking that they're being creative and nobody editing don't them. Don't know that it's that. I just. So you're offended again by no, something not, that happened two hundred years offended. ago? I'm not offended. I just think somebody that it is. is. That's why well, the headline sure, says it's just, it's Bay not, Area it's just dumb. news it station. Dumb. It was it was lacking common sense. Has racist headline after Braves loss. 
So somebody's going to lose. Well, Another but, uh, person you know, is about they, to they lose their job I, at KTVU. I don't know that they necessarily thought they were going to be able to get away with it, but it's because the, there were stories that came out yesterday before the game how they weren't putting the foam... Um, the tomahawk yeah, deal. The air, mm-hmm. you know, those on the chairs, and they were making some adjustments, and so maybe we should have just followed suit and made adjustments as well with the phrasing afterwards. Mm-hmm. I, just, I mean... It's put. It's. I. I'm sorry. It's political correctness run amok. They've. They're not going to stop handing out tomahawks. They just stopped handing them out yesterday. That, true. Because this pitcher for the player for the Cardinals can be offended all of he wants, but there's no. You don't have any right to not be offended. I. Well, I'm, but he also I'm didn't ask for them to do that. He just mm-hmm. was asked a question and I he answered it the way he, he felt. Was asked. And he didn't say, "I wish they would take these things away." He, you know, they mm-hmm. didn't do it because. Of what he said, I don't think. Yeah, but all right. I just wanted. I just wanted everybody to know what KTVU the they have TV some station over is there. Is going the through picture. some problems again this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Three one four two four one nine seven nine seven. We'll get to the bottom line coming up. Doctor Randy Tobler uh, at about six thirty seven this morning. Todd Starnes at seven thirty seven. We'll be right back. Air Comfort Service heating and cooling weather with Chief Meteorologist Dave Murray. There's a big time cold front on the way ahead of the front today. Mostly cloudy skies, windy this afternoon, a couple of showers here and there. 79.80 for the high. Tonight, periods of rain and thunderstorms, some heavy downpours possible. 48 Friday, cloudy, rain and thunderstorms around colder. 50s in the morning on Friday, 40s Friday afternoon. The sun is back over the weekend. This is 97.1 FM Talk Chief Meteorologist Dave Murray. I'm Charles Payne, and this is the Fox Business Report. Fidelity Investments is eliminating trading commissions for online trades of U.S. stocks. It joins Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, and E-Trade Financial. Before today's move, Fidelity charged $4.95 for online trades. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg will answer questions from the House Financial Services Committee on October 23rd. The House panel wants to know about Facebook's plans for its cryptocurrency, Libra. The White House has agreed to special licenses that will allow some U.S. companies to do business with China's Huawei. The cooperation is allowed if it doesn't harm U.S. national security. Stocks closed higher yesterday with optimism about trade talks with China resuming today. The Dow up 181. One NASDAQ up 79, S&P added 26. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Ginny Cosola. Invested in you. You see them all around town. Cintas trucks and their service reps taking care of customers. When companies use Cintas, you know they're confident and ready. Cintas helps with their fire protection and first aid and safety programs, handles their apparel solutions, and helps keep their facility and restrooms clean and stocked. So you know those companies care about their employees, facilities, and image. When all those things work together, they're ready for business. Oh, I'm ready! Get Cintas and get ready for the workday. Fox Business, brought to you by Fisher Window and Door Store, your dealer for Marvin Windows and Doors in the St. Louis region. FisherWindow.com traffic from the ambassador floor company traffic center traffic so far this morning looks great so if you're just headed out no serious issues now the ramp closure of the day will be the 11th street exit ramp to westbound 64 that is will be closed this morning according to modot 6 a.m until 7 p.m tonight again that's the 11th street ramp to westbound at 6440 while they do that epoxy overlay. Now, right now, things look great. That ramp is open, and we're quiet on the poplar. There's a little bit of a slowdown westbound on the Stan Musial Veterans Memorial Bridge where we have one lane down for some road work. Traffic brought to you by Woods Basement Systems. Drywall cracks, foundation cracks, cracks in the brickwork outside are signs of a basement foundation problem. Call the area's highest rated, most reviewed, all things basement the experts, Woods Basement Systems, for a free estimate. Or go online to woodsbasementsystems.com. I'm Sue Thomas with traffic. It's 533 at 97.1 FM Talk. You're listening to The Mark Cox Show, brought to you by an olive ovation, St. Louis's ultimate market for specialty foods, where you can sample over 100 olive oils, vinegars, mustards, local honeys, and more every day. Visit the store on Ladue Road on Saturdays for wine tastings and at an oliveovation.com. 
St. Louis businesses are making lots and lots of things, and a byproduct of making a lot of things is a lot of trash. So much trash that companies don't have a way to maximize the capacity of their open-top roll-off dumpsters. Until now. Now there's Smash It. Hi everybody, Cliff LaPlante here, owner of Smash It in St. Louis. What we will do is bring our patented mobile compaction truck to your manufacturing or construction site and smash the waste in your open-top container, giving you up to 40% more space. You'll reduce your labor costs, reduce your downtime, and reduce the number of hauls. All of this for about one-third the price of a costly haul. So stop paying for air to be hauled away. You really need to see it to believe it. Smash it in action online at stlsmash.com. That's stlsmash.com. In fact, we'll even come out to your office for free and show you exactly how it works. 314-59-SMASH. That's 314-59-SMASH or stlsmash.com. You know what makes every diamond unique and special are its four C's, cut, clarity, color, and carat weight. But do you know what makes Diamonds Direct special and unique? It's our own four C's. The first C, concept. Diamonds Direct has revolutionized jewelry shopping by eliminating middleman markups and giving you direct access to the world's finest diamonds straight from the diamond cutters. The second C, choice. Diamonds Direct's multi-million dollar selection of precious diamonds is unparalleled. And with over 4,000 designer settings to choose from, you are empowered to make a decision that works for your style and taste. The third C, confidence. With a nationwide price guarantee, free lifetime warranty, our unique 110% diamond upgrade policy, and our no-pressure, no-risk environment, you have total total peace of mind. And the fourth C, community. Every year we partner with local charities and nonprofits with significant donations of time, money, and jewelry to make this a better place for everyone. Diamonds Direct, as unique, special, and rare as every diamond in our showcase. Get store hours and directions at DiamondsDirect.com. Eventually, every soon-to-be retiree has to decide, should I go it alone or get some help? Before you decide, call Marvin Mitchell. Give Marvin Mitchell an hour, and he'll turn what he learns into a retirement strategy personalized for you. He'll put it on paper. You can take it home. Kick the tires. Talk it over. You might discover it's just what you were looking for. Marvin Mitchell has done this for more than 12 years for hundreds of couples. You're unlike anyone else, and your retirement strategy will reflect that. For your own personal retirement strategy, call Marvin Mitchell. 314 373-1598. That's 314-373-1598. Marvin Mitchell, 314-373-1598. Compass Retirement Solutions is an independent financial services firm helping individuals create retirement strategies using a variety of investment and insurance products to custom suit their needs and objectives. Investments and services offered through Compass Retirement Group, a registered investment advisory in Missouri. The latest local forecast and severe weather coverage you can count on from the name in St. Louis weather. This is 97.1's Chief Meteorologist, Dave Murray. On 97.1 FM Talk, powered by Air Comfort Service. Mark Cox. Talk lines are open now at 314-241-9797 or 866-455-9797. You're listening to the Mark Cox Morning Show. Well, I don't think they are too old, and I didn't mean to refer to anybody in specific terms, but uh, I think if, if I was already 80 and I was just going into the White House, I don't think I'd have a flexible enough mind and attitude to deal with the multiple issues that a president has to confront. I, I don't mean to say that they're too old, but... When I was 80, I couldn't have done it. <clears throat> well, you're saying they're too old, Jimmy. I don't know. <laughs> There's no way around that. I, I just, I, they keep trotting that guy out. Do you see him the other day? He fell in his house, right? He's 95 yes. years old. Poor guy falls. Stitches. Had to get stitches in his eye. Mm-hmm. Looked like he'd been in a bar fight, and he still showed up at some Habitat for Humanity thing to build houses. Good for him. No kidding. Doing something productive with his life mm-hmm. instead of wrecking the U.S. economy. It's a good thing. <laughs> I'm happy for him. Don't get me wrong. 
Welcome back into the Mark Cox Morning Show. A happy Wednesday. We're rooting our Cardinals on tonight. We've been yes, talking yes. about that. Uh, we're ready to go. We got uh, Jack Flaherty. They're in. They're in Atlanta. We're going to get uh, all the updates for you here. Uh, don't you worry about that. Here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line. We need to get to the bottom of this. Get to the bottom of this. We've got to get to the bottom of this. The bottom line on the Mark Cox Show. That's the only way we're going to get to the bottom of this. That's the bottom line. Truth. You can't handle the truth. All right, former Missouri Senator Jeff Smith uh, joining us on the phone.